this is what this is a chain today in this video in this particular video we are going to discuss about a chain what chain is it any guesses of what chain is it so we are going back to 1985 we are going back to 1985 again we are counting on our guru that's our michael Porter. so in this video we are going to discuss about Porter's value chain and this Porter's value chain is used as a strategy tool to analyze companies internal activities now everyone knows what are the elements of this value chain Porter's value chain you have primary activities sec uh, secondary activities likewise but how now what is lacking is how we are going to use that inside the company to analyze your primary and secondary activities and to develop it as a competitive advantage so in that case you need to develop it as a competitive advantage so we'll be discussing about that today how we are going to use the Porter's value chain to analyze the internal activities as well as how we are going to develop your competitive advantage let's look into that right do we uh, say like you all know about Porter's value chain and its primary and secondary activities now any if, if anyone doesn't know about what are these primary activities and what are these secondary activities uh, will be uh, I'll tell you what are these primary activities and secondary activities now primary activities you will be having inbound logistics then you'll be having operations then outbound logistics and marketing and sales lastly you'll be having services now what are the supporting activities you are going to have it's about firms infrastructure the procurement the human resource management or human resources then you'll be having uh, the technology as well now in uh, now once it comes to the future uh, discussions we'll be uh, discussing about how we're going to utilize these elements to deliver value now for an example let's say if you take an apparel factory uh, now what is the inbound logistics they have so that can be the raw materials that they are using raw materials now it can be the fabric it can be the trims then what are the operations that's going inside the garment factory so it's about sewing and you'll be having the production line so that's about the operations so what are the outbound logistics that's about the finished garment or the packed garment which is uh, which is going to come out and which is going to go into the store and there will be marketing and sales that particular brand will be having marketing and sales what are the services so you'll be having after sales services you can always have a good quality garment and you can give a guarantee for them uh, like it is uh, durable and quality is there likewise so that's about the primary activities then what about firms infrastructure when it comes to apparel fact apparel sector so it can be the firms infrastructure you have the buildings machinery likewise then the human resource management it can be the uh, people who are involved in the manufacturing processes managers general managers and you'll be having machine operators right likewise then it's about procurement it's about what how they're going to in-house your fabric and frames on time to support the manufacturing operation so that's also there then it's about technology it's about the ERP and CRM systems that you will be using now once it comes to CRM and ERP systems that's also integrated to the manufacturing process some are using SAP systems and all that now that's also been mapped in there so in that case so you can map all these elements and you can analyze currently what is your positioning according to the Porter's value chain analysis so that's about 1985 but today also we are using that let me have this ball inside there I'm not going to make it it seems right done let's look at how we are going to use value chain in order to practice cost advantage the example which we are going to discuss here it's about Aldi the supermarket chain now let's look at uh, the value chain elements you have primary activities starting from inbound logistics operations outbound logistics you have sales and marketing services now let's see how they are going to practice how, how they have practiced 
their operations of primary activities in order to get this first advantage and uh, let's see the support activities you know about that product research and development technology and system development then you'll be having human resource management as well as the general administration uh, now let's look at the primary activities how they are practicing on that now inbound logistics they are maintaining a limited range of lines like they are maintaining about thousand feet but where the same in other stores will be about 40,000 they are saving cost from that thing and that gives volumes for scale of economy so they're saving from that inbound logistic operations then let's see the, how the operations happening so they maintain smaller stores with fewer staff so that means the cost is going to be low and goods left in boxes and fine operated trolleys that no one is going to go behind trolleys and keeping those goods and everything in place and the smaller staff uh, smaller store with fewer staff is there so that the cost element is going to go down further now let's look at inbound outbound logistics so they don't do they don't do deliveries so in that case that saves cost again so there will be extra cost for deliveries but they don't do that then it's about sales and marketing and they rarely advertise that goes with word of mouth now if you if you go uh, to youtube and check on or if you go to google and check on this aldi they know like they are famous for cost advantage and they rarely advertise except in the uk and once we focus on the services they provide like so they operate on a gross margin on of 15 percent uh, where like half that of a normal store no that that means like we can give they can give the customers uh give the customers the product at a lower car lower rate lower price than the other things because of because of what they're saving their cost on these activities of primary activities now let's look at the support activities of that now support activities now once we uh focus on the human resource management and general administration they have uh like uh, lean hard head office function and controlling in several countries then they will be having now they will be they are having lean head office function controlling operation in several countries now once we uh uh, talking about the general administration so they are privately privately owned so no public listing cost uh, funded uh, growth is there and now cost funded growth uh, public listing cost and funded growth from cash rather than the debt so in that case that saves uh, the cost the cash outflow which we are going to repay uh, repay the debt amount the interest rates and all that thing so that you'll be saving cost on that then finally they when when with regard to uh, the technology and the systems they keep systems to a minimum whereas no credit cards means like it's a saving of one to two percent on every transaction so that they can pass that thing with a margin for the customers where their profit is going to go high go high up but focusing on the cost factor so that's about the supermarket chain uh, Aldi who's practicing cost advantage to value chain now we are going to discuss in the next slide it's about differentiation so we'll take as an example Apple Apple company now it's again you know about primary activities and support activities starting from inbound logistics to services then support activities R&D technology system development and ending with general administration. Now let's see how the inbound logistics goes for differentiation thing. So they will be focusing on three to five suppliers for network and infrastructure equipment. So that's about how we're going to differentiate themselves. Now, if you're having more suppliers who supply you, you can't differentiate yourself with the inbound logistics. So now once we focus books on the manufacturing or operations, the manufacturing is being not ex extensively outsourced so they have some selective countries to manufacture their equipment or electrical appliances phones and everything then uh, and when once we uh, discuss about the outbound logistics selective channel partnerships will be there so you can't find apple everywhere sometimes you have some sort of differentiation there i mean you can't find 
uh, Apple dealership everywhere sometimes. So in that case, selector partnerships are there. So that differentiates you as well as specifically targeting stakeholder groups of sales and marketing. Now, we can see they are on social media, they are ATL, BTL and through the line advertisements as well. So they are specifically targeting the stakeholder groups. It can be suppliers, it can be distributors, it can be the customers, it can be B2B, it can be B2C, it can be B2G. Likewise, they are specifically targeting the customers through this advertising sales and marketing and promotions with that because they need to differentiate themselves so they will have they will make use of brand association as well now once we uh, finally discuss about the services they operate on a larger margin focusing on brand and quality so they are manufacturing cost and the operations will be lower but again they are focusing on the brand and the quality of these uh, all elements inbound operations out by sales and marketing where they can charge a premium for that so that's again a differentiated factor for them then uh, let's say it's about uh, product R&D and development human resource management this is full activities which they support that so it holds a lot of patents and careful planned portfolio is there product portfolio so that's it with regard to that then operations in several continents in the world now not everywhere in the world but there were continents in the world so then you have the human resource and general administration it's about what channel at the, you have a talent pool maintaining strong relationship with app developers as well so you can see how they have practiced these elements in apple to differentiate themselves through value chain so that means they are going to use this value chain in a good mood now i think this is clear for you now let's look what is happening out there now it's all about competitive advantage now how are you going to have your competitive advantage by using Porter's value chain now once we now we know about uh, the primary activities and secondary activities now there are two types of advantages that you can work on now it can be two it can be three as well now for the time being we'll discuss about these two advantages major advantages now you can use value chain to get cost advantage and you can use value chain to differentiate yourself or differentiate advantage now differentiation advantage is one thing and cost advantage is another thing that the value chain can be used to deliver once you are working on your competitive advantage now once you uh, talk about or discuss about cost advantage so some are examples are there it's about amazon walmart mcdonald's and toyota you can get it as examples when it comes to cost advantage as well as you have a supermarket chain aldi uh, so that's also working on cost advantage now how they have used in order to reduce cost and make good profits then you have uh, once you are going into differentiation advantage the firms that strives to create superior products or service differentiate advantage approach now firms that try, strives to create superior products or services use differentiation advantage now uh, you can have examples like apple then you can have google samsung starbucks and likewise so how we are going to use these elements to deliver the competitive advantage now once we uh, once we discuss about the inbound logistics now this inbound logistics of course you need to select particular suppliers that supplies which drives the cost advantage now you can have many suppliers who's uh, providing the same raw materials at a lower cost then you can minimize your operation cost by learning cycles and if you're having total quality management inside your operations so that will reduce your cost again and outbound logistics that's about your operations so you can have like virtual stores sometimes in order to bring down the cost now you have e-commerce platforms so that will bring down the cost then you'll be having marketing and sales that's straightforward we have amply talked about and discussed about the integrated marketing communications and all that then what are the services you're going to have might maybe you are providing after sales services not an not in an extensive manner but you, what you could do is you can always provide remote support for that thing so your cost is going to be minimized now once we again uh, that's about the primary activities once we again focus on once we again focus on the supporting activities it's about firms infrastructure now maybe if you are focusing on cost advantage i would like i would 
probably suggest you to go for an, an OPEX model because now if you are going for CAPEX investment there will be depreciation you need some amount of CAPEX but again the cost has to be minimized so OPEX model is very much important and human resource management you can always outsource that thing as well so we have amply talked about chamber of organization structure you can always uh, concentrate on company's core executives and you can decide on what staff to outsource then you will be having procurement processes so make it clean and clear not complex processes something some simple processes so when it comes to technology so always use technology like digital technologies digitalization digital transformation in order to support your cost differentiation right so that doesn't mean like if you're using the technology if you are again using the paper and signing the document again that's not going to help you you need to truly digitally transform in order to get the maximum value of Fuda's value chain now we have given you some examples of cost advantage that's Apple not uh, when it comes to cost advantage that's Walmart Amazon McDonald's Aldi Toyota and all that but once it comes to Toyota the Lexus goes as differentiation now once it comes to differentiation advantage so superior products will be there it's about Apple Samsung electronics Starbucks maybe Rolls Royce as well so that's all about value chain and I think that has delivered you some value into your heads and this can be used to analyze your current position as well as to develop a competitive advantage as well so that's all about value chain and we'll come up with new surprises as well